Darrow Hero 205 Motorsports. Coming up, we're going to take a look at a 2023 Monte Carlo ZL1. Wait, what? Welcome back. I'm here in Gwin, Alabama at Westside Customs and Collision. I have Dylan and Anthony here, builders of this Monte Carlo. Uh, so why am I looking at a 84 Monte Carlo? Well, it's actually a 2023 ZL1 Camaro, but we put the body of a 1984 Monte Carlo on top of it to give it that new style suspension and motor and interior. Gotcha. So that's... Uh, <laughs> not something you see every day now you just got back from the hot rod power tour yeah. and i took this on the power tour we did five how'd it do days, five states mm -hmm. two thousand miles. uh this year where did the power tour start out at atlanta yeah atlanta so yeah, atlanta. And you had uh ended up in bristol, bristol yep. Tennessee. what was the build time on this car Four months. Four months. Yes, four months. Pretty much every single day. So four months. How much time in between the maiden voyage and uh, power tour did y'all have? Oh, we were working on it Monday when we left. <laughs> yeah, literally. We was welding on it and putting it together the day we left. So you don't believe in uh, having some, some free time in between? <laughs> Not on this one, for sure. <laughs> Well, hey, so no problems on the on the road? No, it went great. We were mm -hmm. surprised. Yeah, I don't think we ran into any issues at all. What year Camaro did you say is underneath? 23. It started out, how many miles did it have? Less than a thousand. Yeah, it had less than a thousand when we started on it. Wow. All right, so... Where did the Monte Carlo originate from? Monte Carlo was my high school car. I bought that car in 10th grade. And it had been sitting for the last 30 years behind my old shop. Wow. So we decided we was going to build something for the fire tour this year. So we pulled it out of the woods and went to work. Gave it new life. It's one way to do it. So starting with the, the exterior, what did y'all have to do to, to modify to get... what What... On this Monte Carlo, what is left Monte Carlo? What's Camaro? Well, really everything you see um, is Monte Carlo. The only thing we had to do is we put the fin on the top to keep the radio, FM, uh, XM, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. We had to integrate the door handles and the mirrors to make all the modules and everything happy because it didn't want to run without them. And, of course, you see we had to wide body it because the Camaro is wider. Actually, the Camaro is longer and wider. 
So we had to do a lot of chopping on the fenders. So probably not a swap you'd recommend the average hobbyist to do at home, huh? No, it actually, it could be done. It would just take some time, <laughs> some serious time. We had a really, really good fabricator with us. So use the, uh, the stock ZL1 wheels. Interior is all Camaro. Stock engine? Stock Camaro engine, yeah. Supercharged, I mean, 650 it's a ZL1, horsepower. why? Why? It doesn't <laughs> yeah. need any more. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So four month build. What was the response on the road? Oh, people loved it. They couldn't figure out what it was at first. You get looking at it, and the more you look, the more you see. And just going down the road, it's like, oh, it's just a ratty Monte Carlo. And then you get looking at it, you're like, wait a second, that's something right there. <laughs> so this car, it even got the attention of Hot Rod Magazine itself. Yes. That's pretty cool. Now, I already know, but... You want to go ahead and say what other projects y'all got coming down the down the line? We've got a 1968 Dodge Charger that we're putting on a 21 Challenger Hellcat frame. It's going to be the same idea as this, just, you know, of course, a little different. That's for now. And then after sure. that, we've got more planned. <laughs> okay. Now, is this car finished? It's finished for now. Our original plan was to paint it. We're gonna leave it this way at least for next year. Okay. I mean, like I already told you, I already dig the the rat rod look to it. Uh, I think that's what got a lot of people's attention. It does look so rough, but it doesn't run the way it looks. Anything else we need to know about the car? Um, we can pop the trunk. Well, it does have, you know, it's got backup camera. It has literally every. So some modern amenities yeah. from the ZL1. You got the sensors in the bumper. The backup cameras on top. Mm -hmm. and the top All the electronics from the back. The batteries in the back. Mm -mm -mm. The rear view mirror is actually uh, a screen. It's not an actual okay. mirror. It's a screen and the camera is on the back of that little fan right gotcha. there. Pretty cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and look underneath the hood. It looks like a stock ZL1. Really, the only thing we had to do under here was we built this brace to just keep everything from shifting around. Sure. We built it to drive. He drove this thing extremely hard. Extremely hard on the power door. Cool. Who wants to go for a ride? I got a strange film the uh, stock 305 never ran that good. No. No. <laughs> but y'all see what I see. Yeah, once you uh, get inside, you forget you're inside of a 84 Monte Carlo. Yeah, but
Our plan was to build something that you just couldn't go to the store by. y'all that's gonna do it for today's video huge thanks to anthony and dylan for allowing me to come out and feature their monte carlo z01 uh very cool car uh, and if you want to see it in person then coming up in september they'll be up in kentucky at ls fest and then hopefully they have the charger done to make it for uh, cruising the coast uh, in october uh, they, hope to, they hope to have them both down there for that. And, uh, you know, just leave them a comment down below. Let them know what you think about their build. And uh, if you like the content, then make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Come back to watch some more. Uh, another way you can support the channel is uh, I'll have a link to some merch. You know, uh, I really don't even make any profit off the merch. Uh, but it will help me get my name out there anyways. But the biggest way to support it right now is just to uh, watch the videos and subscribe, come back and watch some more. So I uh, appreciate you. And until next time, I'm out of here.